Tonight, people in the community are getting a chance to weigh in on the proposed takeover of the New Haven-based New Alliance Bank. The move has been met by controversy from lots of people, including Mayor John DeStefano, who says the bid by an out-of-state bank will be bad for local residents. News News8's Bob Wilson live at the County West Hill School in New Haven with the latest developments. Bob? Public hearing is going on right now, and earlier they had union officials all out here protesting, yelling, screaming. They had a shark out front with a customer in its mouth saying, that's what the big bank is doing. It's swallowing up the little customers. Now, if we show you, it's, it's the first Niagara Bank out of Buffalo. It's being acquired by the New Alliance, uh, will acquire New Alliance Bank out of New Haven. Employees here are saying that about 200 people will be swallowed up in that merger. Jobs will be lost. And I talked to the CEO of First Niagara, and he says, yes, jobs will be lost initially. But he says, as they continue to grow and bring that back in, he says more jobs will be here, and they're going to try to keep New Haven a small community bank. Very confident uh, that in the months and years ahead, uh, uh, New Haven, Manchester, or other communities in this region will embrace us as your community bank. Uh, yes, we're larger uh, than New Alliance. Yes, I expect we'll continue uh, to grow, but we do it with a community-driven focus. John DeStefano, as well as union members here, saying they will continue to fight this, especially here during the public comment. I'm Bob Wilson, reporting live in New Haven, News 8.